Okay, think about a standard deck of cards. I want to see how many um, kings or hearts there are in a standard deck of um, playing cards. So if you don't recall, um, a deck has four kings. There's the king of spades. There is the king of hearts. There is the king of clubs. And there is the king of diamonds. So if I want to count the number of ways, or if I want to count the number of kings or hearts in a deck, then I would count the number of kings plus the number of hearts and then subtract off the number of cards that are kings and hearts at the same time. Well, this is easy. There are four kings. There are 13 hearts because it's uh, the ace of hearts through the king of hearts. And there is one card that is a king and a heart at the same time, and it's the king of hearts. So when you do the arithmetic, 4 plus 13 is 17, minus 1 is 16. And uh, I really did do it in my head that time. Okay. Another example. Suppose I want to count how many students there are. And the data that I have, how many students are in a class. And the data that I have are, the student has 20 iTech majors, 10 math majors, and 5 double majors. Well, um, I have a set of iTech majors and a set of math majors, and there's an overlap. So to count this, it's going to be the number of iTech plus the number of math minus the number of double majors. Because when I count the iTech, I'm counting the double majors. And when I count the math, I'm counting the double majors. So the doubles have been counted twice. So I've got to subtract them off once. All right, again, uh, this is pretty quick and easy. 20 iTech majors plus 10 math majors minus 5 double majors gives you a total of 25 total students in the class.